Hi everyone, I'm Kremlin here for the Techies, and today I'm going to show you a little something about cookies. I'm going to show you how to set them and then how to extract them. Uh, so you may be asking yourself, what are cookies, my good sir? Well, since you're so inquisitive, I shall tell you. Cookies are a delicious name for little bits of information that a uh, site gives to you if it wants to remember some stuff about you. So uh, say you're logging in as somebody, uh, the site will probably give you a cookie with your login name or say probably your login ID. Um, so I'll show you a practical example of how this is applied. So uh, here, this statement right here, it uses the post method to get your name from a previous hypothetical page. This isn't anything new. If you don't know what's going on here, uh, watch some of, my, some of my previous tutorials. Now, here is the actual cookies. So the function that you want to use is set cookie, and then the first parameter is the name of the cookie. Right now my name is name, how convenient. Then a comma, then what you actually want to be saved as that cookie. So right now it's occupied by the variable, which I have defined up here which I have gotten from the previous page. And the last parameter separated by a comma is the time that you want this cookie to last. Uh, cookies aren't permanent, or you can make them semi-permanent, but they expire, which is a useful feature of this. So um, they are stored in seconds, which is uh, oddly specific, but yeah, they are. So I forget what amount of time this is, but uh, yeah, you can use a calculator to do that. Or, if you're lazy like me and don't want to uh, pull out a calculator, I will show you how to uh, do this right here in PHP. So we're going to have a new variable, time. We're going to set it equal to the function time, parentheses, plus, we're going to say 60 seconds times uh, 60 minutes times 24 hours. So there you go. This cookie will last a day. And uh, yeah, we change this to time. There you go. That will work. Oh, wait, and uh, semicolon at the end. Can't forget that. OK, so moving on, now that you know how to set a cookie, you want to extract it. So you're going to have a simple variable here, cookie, and then uh, have a similar cookie retrieving command here, similar to the post up here. So it'll be dollar sign underscore cookie, capitals, don't forget the capitals, and then, oh, this should be name, not ID, there you go, and it'll extract the cookie. Now, um, it only extracts the cookies that apply to your website, uh, so say you have two similar websites that are, I don't know, somehow linked together, they'll only work for the website that you set the cookie from which you can't really specify here since it's done automatically by your server. <clears throat> so yeah, that's it for cookies, then it's echoed down here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for cookies, thank you. This has been Kremlin for the Techies. And don't forget to visit th3techies.com, link 